Moms and dads, listen up. This week we're giving you the ABCs on greening your baby. Hi, cutie. <laughs> First up, diaper duty. Did you know one baby uses approximately 6,000 diapers before being potty trained? And to make matters even worse, petroleum-based disposable diapers like this take between two and 500 years to decompose. Cloth diapers are a better alternative, but aren't easy on the environment either. Overuse of water, energy and chemicals are one thing, not to mention the time factor for you. Luckily today, they are biodegradable alternatives. You can wash the outer shell and flush the lining which is plastic free and breaks down in less than three months. And the best news is you can compost these as well. Pick them up at the Big Carrot. Feeding time is the most important time of the day, so you'll want to throw out your plastic bottles and go for glass instead. Conventional baby bottles contain bisphenol A, a harmful chemical that has been linked to a variety of serious health problems. In fact, Canada recently became the first jurisdiction in the world to consider designating the chemical as hazardous to human health and the environment. So go for these alternatives instead. When it comes to the food, go organic. You'll want to reduce your baby's exposure to harmful pesticides and genetically modified foods as much as possible. The same principle applies to your baby's clothes. Organic cotton and bamboo are excellent choices because they are produced using sustainable methods. The best choice for duds, though, is the hand-me-down. If you have a baby, you know everything goes into their mouth, so you'll want to avoid plastic toys because they usually contain harmful chemicals. Go for wood alternatives like these from Haba or these too cute. Following these simple baby steps will ensure your child grows up green and healthy.